this video, we're going to learn how to hollow an object by using the shell tool. Once you have created your form, we're going to go to modify shell and we have to select the body. So I'm going to go to my browser, open my body and I'm going to select body one. As you can see, as soon as you select it, you have the ability to manually create the shell or you can type in the shell thickness that you want. If I type in three millimeters and hit enter, you're gonna notice that we have the ability to create a shell thickness of three millimeters. I'm going to quickly undo this. Let's go to modify, shell. I'm gonna select this body right here and I'm gonna type in three. Our options are tangent chain, leave that selected. In fourth direction, you can either go on the inside or you can select outside. And now if I type in three, we added a thickness of three millimeters or we can do both. We can go to both and we can create a thickness for the outside. And if I select this arrow right here, we can select a thickness from the inside that can be different. So if I type in two, so from the original shape, we created an interior shell of two millimeters and an exterior shell of three millimeters. So I'm gonna go back to inside and I'm gonna leave this to three. And as soon as you hit okay, we have quickly created a shell thickness of three millimeters. To see what the thickness looks like with the body selected, we can go to inspect and we can select section analysis. Section analysis is going to ask us to select a plane. So I'm gonna select my YZ plane. And as soon as I click on it, you're going to see our section analysis plane. You can move it to see what the thickness looks like. You can also rotate this. So if I rotate it on the Z axis, I can see a different plane and then you can move it in this direction. I'm gonna hit okay. And to turn off this analysis, we're gonna to go to our browser. You can turn off the visibility of the, your analysis. And if you wanna bring it back, turn on the visibility, double click on the tool, and then you can go ahead and change it. You can rotate it in any direction that you want and then all you have to do is move it. Once you're done, hit OK, turn off the visibility, and we're back. And this is how we create shells and analyze their thickness in Fusion 360.